friends, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very fun video because as you guys can probably tell from the title, I shopped on Wish. This is the first Wish haul video review I am doing. I am very excited because I've shopped on Wish maybe like three years ago, just got some phone cases, but today I have spent $300 and I paid for express shipping to get all these items here quickly so I could do this video. I am very excited. If you guys don't know what Wish is, it is a website that basically has different sellers. You can buy different items from, find some cheap stuff on there, and yeah, it's pretty cool. You can get a ton of things on there that you probably don't even need, but looks pretty dope. So that's what I'm here to show you today. Everything I got basically is things that I've seen on other websites that I found on Wish for a lot cheaper. So we're gonna hop into this. I do have two more items coming in the mail in like a couple weeks so we're gonna hold off on those for now but they will be at the end of this video so i'm going to be showing you guys in order what i got and also reviewing the product showing what the product does so if you want to see that keep on watching all right so i placed this order and literally the next day this item came i was very surprised I got these earrings. They're like earrings slash nose rings. I'll put a picture of everything right here so you guys can kind of compare. I've had these two cartilage piercings for almost a year now and they need to be replaced. So I got these. I think these will fit perfectly in my ear. So I'm pretty hyped for these because they're adorable and it came in a pack of two. All right, hi, hello. So I basically just took some pliers and I um, pried open my piercings right here. So we are going to try out these earrings. So these ones have like a little twist off right here. So you just twist it off. You can't lose it or else you'll be screwed. Ha, <laughs> screwed. And then you just stick it in your ear. Voila, one cartilage out. I hope this fits in my ear or else I'm gonna be very upset. Um, we have an issue. This hoop is too thick for the hole in my ear. So I need to put these gold ones in ASAP. Now that I know that those are not going to work, that's very much a bummer because I really wanted those. Next, I got some film for my Instax Mini. I need to take it out of here. I mean, from what I'm seeing so far, it looks pretty legit. I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily try this out right now because I do have film in my camera already and I don't wanna waste it, but this looks pretty legit. It came in a pack of two, so 20 sheets total. Looks legit, pretty awesome. Super stoked about this. I love taking Polaroids. Up next, we got this pair of leggings. I did a video with Honey Fit, and I love their leggings. They fit like Gymshark leggings, so I saw these, and these looked identical to the ones I had. Same style and everything, so I got them in like this gray color. It's like a thing like on camera, it's coming off as more like a gray blue, but in person, it's definitely more of like a dark heathered gray. I really like this. The material feels pretty good. I Think these are gonna fit me pretty well. I have other ones similar, maybe I'll do a comparison, but so far, it's pretty stretchy. So I'm gonna show you the comparison between my Wish leggings and my Honey Fit leggings that I got. So, first of all, these are the Honey Fit leggings, they're like this blue color, they look like this, and then this is the Wish leggings. So, I like the style and everything. We're gonna put these on, I'm gonna let you guys know how I feel about them. So these are the leggings, they do fit tight when I walk, I get a little bit of like a camel toe, but you know, my other ones do that too. They fit really nice. They're skin tight, so I feel like our leggings like that. I recommend, but looks great. I like the color. This gray is really pretty. I think I really like them. I really like these. They hold me in, they suck me in. If I'm jumping around, working out or whatever, like these are not going anywhere. They're staying on my body. So I think they are good. I like the material. They're very soft, just like my other ones. So. I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of these as soon as I can like go back to the gym. So thumbs up for these. This next thing I saw on TikTok and people bought it on Amazon for like 20 bucks, 25 bucks, but I got it on Wish. It's this sweet sweat waist trimmer. Basically you wear it around your waist while you're working out. It's supposed to make you sweat a ton. So I guess I'll use this when I work out tonight and see how it goes. I've been waiting to use this. All right, it's a lot later now. I have my little sweet sweat thing on wrapped up ready to go so we're gonna try to do a workout we're not gonna try to do a workout we're gonna do a workout see if this makes me sweat anymore i really hope it does <laughs> As you can tell, I just finished working out. I'm dripping sweat. I can feel my stomach just dripping in sweat. Let's take this off. Pretty sure this thing works. I don't know why it wouldn't. 
All right, I'm sweaty. You can literally see sweat underneath this belly thing. Ew! That's from my stomach. Okay, we're taking this off. Ew! Can you see how sweaty I am? Okay, this thing is drenched. Ew, okay, that's really gross. I'm putting it back on because I'm gonna still work out, but ew. Um, I'm gonna give this a big old thumbs up because it works. I'm drenching sweat. My stomach, you can literally see, is sweating because that's from my stomach. Not anything else. So, big thumbs up. 10 out of 10. I got another pair of earrings. They're very cute. I have some on similar. They're just gold. But this one I ordered on AliExpress and it came in way smaller. And I wanted these for my cartilage as well. So, it came in a pack of two. They're just these little, like, clasp diamond gold earrings. They're really pretty. I'm going to try to put them on in here and see if they fit. Good thing about these gold ones is they have this thinner hoop thing to go in your ear and then it clasps. So, I hope this fits around my ear or else I'm going to be very upset because I keep looking for cartilage earrings. <gasps> Yay! It barely comes, you probably can't even see that. It barely comes out on the other side, but you know what? Don't mind my other piercing right there. It's infected. I know it's gross, but I got it on. It's pretty snug on there, so that's good. I'm going to put the other one in and I'll be back. All right, so because my other piercing is infected, it won't poke through because it's a bump. Gross. But I really like these earrings. They're really cute. So I give this one a thumbs up. They seem like really good quality. I am here for it. This is one of the best purchases if this works that I probably ordered. Um, so if you guys don't live in a rock, TikTok, you know, all those people have those LED lights in the room that light up their room. I have some for my TV, but I got some off Wish. They're pretty long. My room is pretty big, but they're supposed to fit around your whole room. I mean, considering my room's a little bit bigger, I don't think they will, but this is, this is what they look like. It came with four rolls and some connectors and a remote. This I'm super excited about because I think these were only like $17 and that's including the express shipping. So if these work, I'm gonna be very excited because on Amazon, these are like 30 to 40 bucks to 50 bucks even sometimes, so. I'm really crossing my fingers that these work. All right, so I'm trying to figure out these light things. There's so many of these. I think what you do is it comes with this and you hook it together, strap it on the walls and then plug this part into here and then also into USB. So we gotta do that. But also it comes with like the sticky tape on the back, which I'm kind of scared is not gonna stick super well just cause it's really thin, but I hope it does. I've got like, look at all this stuff. So much just things to put together and here's the remote. It's pretty big. So first of all, I gotta plug these two together and then attach it to my lights and then plug it into the wall to see if they even light up. Because if I put these around my wall and then they don't even work, that's kind of a waste of my time. So I really hope they work. Let's pray, let's cross our fingers, please. All right, here you go guys. We got it all connected. Now, this is gonna be the moment of truth. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna be very sad because I've been wanting this for so long. So, let's do this. <gasps> oh my god! They work! Ah, okay, I'm so excited now. I don't know why they're blinking like this. Maybe it's because I just plugged them in for the first time. But, okay, we're gonna put these on my wall. I really freaking hope that they stay on my wall because this adhesive does not look promising. But, you know, we'll figure it out because these are pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna connect them all, put them on the wall. Let's go. All right, I'm a little bit upset because I went to go start putting in my lights. I tried to change the light color with my remote and it doesn't even come with a battery. Not even a bag or anything, so that kind of really sucks. Now I have to get a little disc battery. What? All right, I don't even know where to find one of those. Amazon, Target, Walmart. I guess I'm gonna have to do some investigating on how to find this battery, but that is very annoying. I'm just gonna hang these up and then hope it works. It's just flashing in the background, so. I'm not even halfway done and I'm literally sweating from putting these up. Oh my gosh, okay, time to do the rest. All right, well I'm sad because this thing won't fit in this thing. None of them will, so I don't know what to do. 
I have majority of them done. I just needed to put it on another side and I was done. And now I can't. This sucks. Should I just keep the two out of the four? I don't know what to do. Well, I have decided I'm gonna take this down and just put it on the bottom along my bed. It'll look so much better. Maybe I'll reach out to Wish Support to see if they can send me a new one or something. I'm kind of bummed that like one little plug, there's like one of those little notches in the plug that has something in it that's blocking it from being able to connect. I don't know what happened. So other than that, it looks pretty good, but I need to fix something to show you guys what it looks like all together. So I got some batteries for those remote and I got to actually see it worked. I was worried that it wasn't gonna work, but here we are, it worked. You know, I had some struggles with putting it together, but I'll show you guys what the light looks like. It's pretty cool. We have purple on right now. I just put them around my bed. It looks pretty cool. The sensor is down here, so you have to aim it down here. We've got blue green, we've got a better green, purple. I really like it. I think it looks cool for the price point. I'm not disappointed at all. The stickies on the back of it was a little bit hard to deal with considering that they would kind of fall off a little bit. So like in the corners, I just put some sticky tape up and they're staying perfectly fine. And it looks cool in here. I got this shirt on the website. I think it looks pretty similar. Maybe it's a little bit more cropped, but I think this is adorable. The material feels nice and soft. There's a little bit of some thread coming out, you know, not the best, but it doesn't feel like poor quality. It looks like the picture for the most part, I think. This top is really cute. I like it. It surprised me. I really like this top part. It's ruffly, it's lacy, it's cute, and this part's very, like, seductive and sexy because it kind of looks like a little corset. It looks weird with these shorts, so, like, don't even look at the shorts. The quality is very nice. as a nice material. I don't think this is going to rip. I hope it doesn't. This is, like, mesh right here, so... I mean, I hope it's going to be okay. I thought it was going to be a little bit see-through, but there's actually, like, a second lining in here, so it's not super see-through. I also got this bralette, and, I mean, it kind of looks bigger in person. Uh, this is a size small, I believe, I got. Is this the front, or is this the front? I think this little opening in the here is the front, but it's soft, and it's cute. It feels really like good material. I mean, it's just lace, so I mean, anybody could probably make this, but it looks well made. There's no frayed edges or anything, so that's a good sign. Okay, so this bralette is a no for some reasons. Um, on the model, you can see right here, it fits her nice and snug, and first of all, the lining of the lace is very minimal and not huge like this, like where it's very ruffled on the side. Secondly, it's already ripping right here. Not this... Material just kind of comes together and is very clumpy. It doesn't look like it was sewn very well. It feels soft, but this is just... Look how high this is on my back. This is the back of it, by the way. Like, what is that? It's just not cool. You can see my nips. Obviously, it's like lingerie. That's why I'm covering my boobs. But, um, yeah, no, this is not it. I got these nail tips. I've been loving doing my own acrylic nails at home. I have some amazing nail glue and some nails I've been using from Kiss. But I got these in this like stiletto coffin shape. These are the nail salon for professional nails. It comes with 100 in different sizes. I just opened up these nails and they're actually really good quality. I'll show you. They have like a little indent at the end for your nail to fit perfectly with some glue. And they're not bendy at all, so I'm very excited to use these. These are what the nails look like on. They're actually pretty sturdy, and when I clip them down, they're kind of hard to clip, so I have faith that these are going to last a while and they're not going to bend. They look nasty, I know, but I've never used nails like these. I go to like right here instead of all the way to the cuticle, so these remind me of the ones from nail salons. And this is the glue that I use. I got on Amazon. And I also got some gel polishes. I've been in the market for some new ones. I need some new colors. So what this seller had was you got to do a bundle of seven colors. And I got some neutral ones and then I got like blue so I could do a cool blue ombre. This is what they look like. This is the first pack. They're actually, they're pretty small if I do say so myself. Like. That's pretty tiny, but it also came with a top coat, and I think the top coat is a matte top coat, which is pretty cool, so you can do some matte nails. All right, so I'm going to show you guys each color. This is the, ooh, this is like a royal blue color, turquoise, muted sky blue, dark muted royal blue, true navy blue. This is like the lighter version of the other one I showed. That's really nice. We got the 
neutrals here next. Got this like baby nude pink. This is white, like a muted mauve. Lighter, brighter pink mauve. Another nude, but it's a little bit more opaque than the other one I showed in the beginning. And then I believe this is black. Yep, and we got black. I'm really excited to use these nail polishes. The key thing is if they're gonna actually stay on my nails and if they're not gonna end up being sticky and gross. I hope they work. I really like all these colors, so I'm gonna be bummed if they don't. I decided to do the mauve muted nude color. You guys will see when I put on my nails. I'm very excited, so let's get to painting. <laughs> Here are the nails. This color is actually really pretty and nude, and they are a matte top coat, and it worked very well. We've got this little case. This is a case for my AirPods. I thought I ordered one in blue, but apparently I ordered it in clear because I think the only color that had fast shipping was clear. That's also something about Wish. You find the products you like, and then sometimes you can only get in a certain color with the fast shipping, so that kind of sucks, but I mean, this looks like good quality. It's just rubber, a clear case for my AirPods. Here are my AirPods, here's the case. Looks like it's gonna fit, nothing super exciting. I wish I had gotten a different color. If you know, it's fine. Boop, fits. It fits, I mean, it could be a little more snug. I feel like it could slip off a little, but it's not the worst. It's just protected now, which is pretty cool. It won't get super dirty, so kind of a boring review, but here you go. It's nice and sleek and soft, and if that's what you want in a thing, then I recommend because it was pretty cheap, and now it's just protected, but it doesn't look cool. It just looks the same, but you know. It's fine, it's whatever. These two actually came today. I got this foam case. It's like clear and it has these little sparkles in it. I think it's really pretty. I think you could put like a Polaroid in it. It'd be pretty cool. I just changed my phone case out and it looks really cute, especially with this black. It looks like a little night sky. I really, really love it. And it actually is very sturdy on my phone case. I hope it just protects it. it it's very good plastic material, very nice. It hugs my phone perfectly like this baby is not really going anywhere which i'm very happy with because i need my phone to be protected and i think it's very cute so i would highly recommend it also has this little cover for your charger port so nothing gets in it which is cool i also got this shirt it's very different for me it's just black it's a little see-through kind of uh, but it has this cool little dragon on it with these like clip buckle straps. I think that's how you explain it. Had these cool little buckle straps on it. I thought it was so cool. Could pair with some like black shorts, maybe some like black sweatpants with some white sneakers. Look pretty cool. I think the material on this, it's soft. It's not, it could be softer, but I mean, there's no threads being loose on here, so it's good to me. I really like this top. I do. It's very cute, but it's small. Like, I had a hard time getting in this. I'm pretty sure I ordered this in a small. I think I need to go up to a medium because it's tight on my boobs. I don't have a big chest, so I can't even imagine people that wear a small that have a bigger chest because this is, like, tight on me. But it's so cute. I can still wear it out. I'm fine. I just want to be able to wear a bra, which is also fine. But if you have bigger boobs, you could go up a size you know, you're gonna probably need to. And for me, I'd probably go up a size to be a little bit more comfortable, but this small, you know, it's not the worst. It fits me nice, it's not going anywhere, so I mean, that's good. I'm gonna give it like a well, medium, you know? It's cute, it fits, it could just be a little bit bigger. All right, it has been a week or two later now. The final product came in. I said there was two products, but one ended up not delivering at all, and it was way past its delivery date, so I just asked for a refund. So those are no longer coming to us. They were like little things that go around your finger to like help you paint your nails and I get nail polish everywhere. But anyways, the last product is here and I got knockoff Fila's. This is what they look like. Yeah, they're squished. I literally just got them in the mail. But they look like this. I'll put up a picture right here next to me so you guys can see the comparison. They basically look like they're supposed to say Fila, but they don't. So yeah, I think they're actually pretty cute. I got them because I liked the like navy blue and the pink, but I love white shoes, so I had to get these. They're super cool. I figured we could try out how they fit. They came with laces. They're right here. They're not put on, so I gotta do that myself. But for the most part, just by touching them, they feel like decent quality, so I'm gonna lace these up and try them on for you guys. 
All right, here are the shoes on. They're actually cute. They just don't fit me. They're a little big, but walking in them for the most part, they feel pretty fine. I think this part maybe overlaps a little. Like my foot is kind of falling off to the side a little bit more. So it's more on this part than like the bottom of the shoe. I just think maybe that's because they're kind of wonky and bent up because of the way they got delivered. But I mean, they're not the most uncomfortable shoes. They're very lightweight. I don't know if that means that it's very cheap, but I mean, they're not the worst shoes, so. Yeah! Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know I did. It was super fun to film and getting these products in the mail was super exciting because everything came in at a different time and it was like Christmas. Like I was getting a new surprise gift every day, but I thought it was fun to review these products and see how the quality was. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know down in the comments if you want more videos like this. I love you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe to me if you haven't already and hit the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye guys! Bye.